Apple may be what they call an innovative company, but not really when it comes to the music streaming department. So when Spotify announces that their Spotify Hi-Fi subscription will be available later this year, it wouldn't be too surprising if Apple will follow suit with the Apple Music Lostless? First and foremost, what does it mean to have Spotify Hi-Fi? Hi-Fi essentially means high fidelity, and that's what Spotify is promising here. CD quality music. Now, streaming services that offer high fidelity music is not really something new. Tidal has been offering lossless music streaming since 2014, and it's only now that Spotify is jumping into the game. With high fidelity music, we should be expecting music to be streamed at a bitrate of 1,411 kilobits per second. I know that's a weird number, but it's all technical stuff here. In comparison, the highest bitrate that Spotify is offering today is 320 kilobits per second. And if you're using Spotify for free, is even lower at 160. In simpler terms, Spotify Hi-Fi will provide at least around 4.4 times higher quality audio than the current Spotify offering. And if Apple is not offering a high fidelity, lossless version of Apple Music, they're going to be left behind. Now, of course, the long-standing debate is this. Hey, I'm not an audiophile. Uh, can I really hear the difference between the lossless and lossy music formats? And still, there's not really a definitive answer. It's a very personal thing, and it's something no one else can really decide for you. But I guess the psychology is this. If there's a 4K version of a film, you probably want that more than a 4 HD version. Even if it's just a placebo, it still feels better knowing that you're enjoying your content at a higher quality. And if anything, I think it's time for Apple to think about a high fidelity version of Apple Music because the Apple ecosystem is ready for Apple Music lossless. Now the very first thing to think about is the hardware. HomePods are not equipped with the most functional digital assistant in the market. The Siri simply just doesn't have as many functions as Google Assistant or Alexa. But when it comes to the music quality that the HomePods can pump out, it's really top notch. Real-time tuning, computational audio, custom tweeters and amplifiers, audio beamforming, Apple has put in a lot of work in the HomePod. And even for the HomePod Mini, reviews have been highlighting the remarkable audio quality coming from such a small package. And of course, probably the most expensive audio product Apple has ever released, the AirPods Max. It's almost comical with that much work put into improving the fidelity and noise cancellation of the AirPods Max. We're stuck with listening to music at just the standard audio quality of 320 kilobits per second. I think it would be an absolute waste if Apple Music doesn't fully utilize the audio features of this caliber in the very near future. But then the ecosystem is not just about the audio quality of Apple products. 5G is the key to make streaming high quality audio an absolute breeze. Now, I'm not saying 4G speeds can't stream high quality music in real time. We can use 4G to stream 4K video, for example, so streaming audio shouldn't really be a problem. But this is more about whether the network infrastructure can support it when everyone's trying to stream high quality music. 4G networks around the world are now very saturated with a lot of devices trying to do heavy downloads at the same time. This is what we call network congestion. The very reason why your download speeds may be a little bit slower when you're in a crowded place. On the other hand, 5G, either now or in the near future, can come to the rescue because the 5G spectrum is three times as efficient as the 4G spectrum. The result? In the same area, 5G is estimated to have a hundred times higher network traffic capacity. With the iPhone 12 and probably the next generation of iPhones and iPads to be equipped with 5G as well, it will be a streamlined process to stream lossless audio on Apple Music. Well, there's really just one thing left to talk about now. The price. Uh, and this is where we need to look at the competitors in the music streaming market. At this moment, we don't really know how Spotify is going to deliver this Spotify Hi-Fi service. We don't exactly know how much it's going to cost us, but a lot of speculations are saying that Spotify Hi-Fi will cost around 20 US dollars a month. 
that would be the same pricing structure compared to the one of Tidal. $9.99 for the base subscription and $19.99 for the Hi-Fi subscription, meaning a Hi-Fi service will essentially cost you double. And this is where Apple, being a super large corporation really, can really shake up the competition. As you know, Apple Music can be a lucrative business, but for Apple, the main goal is to create a software plus hardware ecosystem. Whether they're making too little money or not from Apple Music shouldn't really be their first priority. If Apple can provide Apple Music lossless at a price lower than $19.99 a month, that will really give Spotify and Tidal a run for their money or just give everyone lossless music audio anyway. When the Apple TV 4K was released, Apple automatically upgraded everyone's iTunes movie purchases. If you've bought an HD movie before on iTunes, you would have the 4K HDR version for free. And for now, it would be quite amazing if you can have lossless music quality at just $9.99. It will also make the pricing mechanism way simpler for Apple, considering Apple is already offering Apple One in selected regions, bundling Apple Music, TV+, Fitness+, News+, Arcade, and iCloud storage in just one subscription. And if Apple Music has a lossless upgrade on top of that, that would make things quite a lot more confusing. Well, yes, that means Apple might be making less from Apple Music, but Apple services make up only a small chunk of Apple's revenue anyway. If Apple can offer high fidelity audio on Apple Music at less than $20 a month, it might urge Spotify Hi-Fi and Tidal Hi-Fi to be cheaper than $20 as well. And that would be for real what I call game-changing for the consumers. At the end of the day, I don't think it matters which music service you like and subscribe to. When Tidal first offered lossless audio streaming, we know at some point other streaming services will follow suit. Now with Spotify and later, most probably, with Apple Music. It's more about how these services keep improving themselves and, if you may, playing catch up with each other. Because it's only with competition will these companies bring out the best of themselves. And with music streaming services, as long as musicians are paid fairly, I'll keep my ears perked up. It's been a while, but thank you so much for watching. Tell me in the comments section down below about Spotify Hi-Fi and the prospect of Apple Music Lossless. And I can't wait to see you in the next one.